Hello Winter Makers, my name is Sergio Muñoz. I'm a student at the University of Texas El Paso. Right now I'm a senior and my major is digital media production. It's a department inside communications on liberal arts. I was born in Mexico in a small town called Delicias. It's like five hours around, five hours from El Paso. And I'm gonna to talk to you about my internship with ABC News in New York City. How did I get into ABC News, the Walt Disney Company? Applying. Well, it's it wasn't that simple. So the story began like last summer. So I had a lot of free time during my work at UTEP. And I said, I want to apply for an internship. And I want to apply for an internship in New York City. So I apply in several internships. I apply with a lot of positions inside the Walt Disney Company, uh, with Sesame Street, even with the major uh, office in, uh, in New York City. But I wanted to go to New York City. So when I came to El Paso to study, um, my, my dream and my main goal is to be a filmmaker so my my path in the way i projected it was like get an internship in el paso then maybe get an internship in austin texas maybe then in houston and maybe atlanta santa fe la and maybe at the end i can get one in new york city but this time i said i'm gonna go straight to New York City. So I applied directly to New York City and I didn't get it. The first time I didn't get it. So um, NC Disney, I applied around seven or eight internships with them, with Marvel Studios, with ABC, with Good Morning America. And just two of them, uh, I just, getting to two of them for consideration and I got an interview and one of them rejected me and the last one they accept me with uh, Lincoln Square it's a production company inside ABC News this is a funny story because when I applied for the semester I went to New York I was supposed to go to DC to Washington DC because I applied for a fellowship and I, I was accepted but I wasn't convinced in, in, in the themes and the kind of fellowship this was. So I said, I don't want to go to DC. I want to apply something New York, something related to, to what I want to do with my life. So I get it, but it was a big risk because it was putting aside one opportunity to get another one which is going to help myself better than the other one but it was it was a big risk then after i was accepted i i, I was accepted at the last minute so that the, this was beginning of august 2019 and i got to get there at the beginning of september the thing was that the university was not allowing me to go because i have to be full time to be honest, this, this is a really dumb rule that they have because they told me you have to be full time. Therefore, you cannot go for an internship in another city. That's a stupid. I know. And um, at the end, they told me like, OK, this rule is not for this is not an immigration rule or a government rule. This is a rule inside the university. I said, what? So. But at the end, they let me go because for them, this was a huge opportunity. So they gave me my my permission and everything. But because, yes, I'm, I'm an international student, so I need permission by the department. And then I went to New York. First of all, what in all my path at UTEP, with all my experience during my small career that I just barely starting since my freshman year I learned that at least in communications you have to specialize yourself in many things so I want to be a filmmaker 
but I also start to focus myself on journalism. I start um, working for the prospect or the UTEP newspaper, but I also wanted to start researching. So I started doing research. So I know to do research and I start doing uh, journalism a little bit. <laughs> But then, after that, I also learned graphic design with my new position. So, every position, no matter how small, how insignificant could be for someone, you can learn a lot for any position. And that position could take you to another step, to another bigger position. That's, that's the way I think I, I get this position. Because I knew to do research and I knew to do graphic design really weird combination but trust me it's very useful and 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 you have to prepare yourself you have to be a leader i remember one of my bosses in one of my internship because i had an internship here in, in el paso with pbs and he told me you have to learn to be a leader because anyone can press play to the camera but not anyone can be a leader so you have to learn to be a leader Another, an, another recommendation I will make is the one that my research professor told me. Apply. Apply, 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 apply for everything. It's not likely that someone's gonna offer you from nowhere an, an opportunity. It's not likely that something like that happened. You're, you're not like, I had a 4.0 as a GPA, but I think it's difficult to someone to came with me to come with me and tell me oh oh you got a 4.0 4 so I can offer you this great opportunity no it's not the way it works so you have to apply and talk to people and I remember when I was in ABC I knew this guy he told me if you're an intern ask questions ask questions don't be afraid to ask questions your bosses are gonna be happy that you're asking questions because you're demonstrating that you want to learn that you want to know more about the company and more about the process of being here, of being in this company. Also, another recommendation is to offer yourself. I don't know if that's a, a good way to put it in words and at least in English, but like every day go to your boss or your supervisor and ask, do you need something? There's something I can help. There's something I, ha I can do. So, so my, during my position at ABC, I worked for this department, which it was in charge of creating new ideas for the for new documentaries for all the Walt Disney Company assets: Hulu, FX, Fox, National Geographic, ABC. So we pitch ideas, we create ideas, and we sell them inside the Walt Disney Company. But for this, we have to make. But for this, we have to do like presentations, design presentations and, and create them and communicate the idea of the, of the documentary. So I think I gained the trust of my boss because she let me do some of the presentations of those speeches. And those presentations are made for people who are in graphic design uh, positions inside the ABC News. But she told me, what if you do one of them? And I did one. And she, she traveled to LA, to Los Angeles, and presented the idea to Hulu. And it was successful. And also I made another presentation for, um, uh, for, for the, all the inside companies that the long form companies inside ABC, like Nightline, um, 2020. So you have to offer yourself because sometimes they're not gonna tell you what to do, but you have to go to your boss and tell him or tell her, um, can I help with something? And, and, and maybe you can learn another thing and in that way you can demonstrate you can prove you or you have another skill that probably your boss is not aware of if you want to be a filmmaker you have to know many you have to 
get many skills. Maybe you know you don't have to be the best in those skills, but you have to develop the, those skills. I I I, I develop my skills in research, and I think I think research is something everyone everyone has to know. If if you're in university, and you're in college, you have to know research. You have to you have to do research in any area, arts, engineering, science, um, etc. So I think research is key for a career. Again, I think another the the, the same thing I said um, at the beginning. Apply. If you want to go to an opportunity, to a fellowship, to study abroad, to an internship, apply. Apply. If you want to, if you want a scholarship, apply. No one is gonna go with you and tell. Oh, we have this for you. Yeah, maybe you have got an opportunity like that in a hundred years. Like I received an, 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 uh, a scholarship uh, in that way. So they told me, oh, you receive someone, get you money. You know, oh, great. But most of the opportunities, you have to look at them. You're gonna look for those opportunities. There's no other way. And that's, that's my recommendation for everyone who wants to, who really wants to have a career in in their field so finally i'm going to invite you to listen to my podcast it's called el club de los amargados it's in spanish it's in spotify itunes and ibox for those who are in, in spain so me and my friend hector portillo we talk about movies in a funny way um when i said a funny way we talk in in the same way you, you talk with your friends about a movie about a tv show so and I'm in the process of filming short films. I have two of them ready right now um, on, on film festivals. Right now are not in public, but maybe in the future they can be in public for you to watch it. Thank you to listen to my experience.